done uh, pins for injection molding and uh, we put the pin box here and I've just stuck it down with tape just so that it doesn't go anywhere from that position. So we're getting there on these racks, slowly slowly but surely. So I've got crumb trial now for replacement pins, so replacement pins, row 2, rack C. So we'll go over to the rack, A, B, C, row 2, pins. Right, it's a ball joint holders, we've got the ball joint stuck in the front as well and um, they fit nice and, nice and snugly. So this was the packaging area, as you can see it's very unorganised, so me and Max sat down and added labels so it's a bit clearer and now as you can see we've got the orders to box on top and the ready ship below. So one improvement I've just done is a cookie trail, so I couldn't find the tape for this, once I eventually found the replacement tape, I've done this. So yes, it's a little messy, but now I know replacement tape is on the mess floor, row one, rack B. Makes it easier for the next person. So I've done a couple of improvements around my PC. Um, so firstly, under the desk, it looked like this before. And now it looks like this, nice and clean. And then on the actual screen, I've gone and labeled all the parts. <sighs> See, that isn't straight. And so you know exactly where the placement is of everything. Haven't labelled this, but that's because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them just yet. Um, but then I've also gone round and labelled all the plugs, so we actually know what's out and what's not regarding plugs, because we often change things about. But it looks tidier, and uh, yeah, hopefully it stays that way. Okay, so I've created a new home for the um, calipers that are used only for 3D printers by gluing the, um, the caliper case up on the underside, so it's just literally just right in front of the 3D printer.